Draco. Where is Basil? Sorry I'm late. I declare this first meeting open. And now, an important announcement from our honorary secretary. The St Pancras House Improvement Society has been registered by the Registrar of Friendly Societies. We're in business. Things will happen now. St Pancras House Improvement Society will acquire and manage homes scientifically and with structural alterations as necessary. Convert them into dwellings very much improved. Some parents and rehousing are quite practical to do. Invest and make a profit, let us hear from you. The old rents remain, but the homes are renewed. That's a Pancras House Improvement Society. We must improve the houses in Somerstown. Though the owners would prefer to let them tumble down. They'd rather have warehouses and factories to serve the railways well. Treasurer, Mr. Hubbard. Our opening balance of £250 has been greatly augmented by the appeals. 1,500 leaflets to Magdalen members, and at a letter to the Times with influential signatories, £3,534 in £1 shares has been taken up. Splendid! Now, an important announcement from our honorary architect, Mr. Ian Hamilton. Homes for heroes were promised to our lads. Thousands lie in foreign soil that dream of England. What's this England for which they risk their lives? What kind of homes can ever match their sacrifice? Not the mud and folding their comrades in the trenches, decomposing. On their beds of rotting boards. Is it space and light like the clear blue skies above the graves at Gallipoli? Sound the call. Declare a war on slums. Open up a massive front to rock all bugs up. Strip all papers and lose the picture. has any meaning. Let's embody it with thoroughness and passion. For we must enlist truth and beauty to drive out darkness. But how do we make a start? The landlords won't sell to us. They're trying to run down their properties so they can sell them as factory sites. We have the chance to purchase the freehold of eight houses on G Street and Clarendon Street. What's the price? £2,800. That's a bit steep. It's too much. They're dilapidated. But we must start the ball rolling. The owners are under pressure from sanitary inspectors and may wish to sell quickly. Offer them £2,500 for the freehold. Seconded. Carried. We must raise more money. Issue loan stock at two and a half percent. I so move. Seconded. Agreed. That concludes this evening's business. <laughs> we St Pancras House Improvement Society Will now share a tot of tea Port or oval tea And wearily will bend to ourselves
Fire brigade, pouring cold water on a good idea. We must start somewhere. Well, if I was rebuilding Summers Town, I wouldn't start from here. I can see new homes rising. <coughs> In their light, these slums shall fade like ghosts. <laughs> Overflowing, get it while it's going. Dirty, 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 high, fast and wide. Two glass yards, two glass yards, all right. singing soprano. What? The brass ball to Paul off his sign. Are you complaining already? Oh, no, Mr. Bruce, sir. Well, we'll be taking part in the historical building project. Besides, I'll be helping to repair my own flat. Oh, yeah, me too, Mr. Bruce. I'm very happy here. Well, I'm not. I could go another Christmas dinner. 28th of December, the oldest day of the year. Will we be working inside today? No, let's get these houses weatherproofed first. I hear you've done some roofing. I worked for an excellent roofer. He had a scientific theory. What was that? Water runs downhill. Remember that, Paddy, he says, and you won't go far wrong. Which one's your flat? Top floor, in that corner. Well, you can test your theory up there. Uh, Billy, you've done some brick laying. You can start by pointing the bricks in this corner. Mr. Bruce? This is Mr. Burt Ray, the carpenter whom Dr. Shaw recommended. Oh, thanks. And thanks for these tools. <laughs> you men come up to the workshop for a cup of tea. We'll, we'll wait for Ernie Tatchell to bring the ladders. I'm Paddy. This is Burt. Yeah. Burt. Oh, Billy. <laughs> I'm Burt. Burt. <laughs> oh, you've had to drop a James and you get tea, Mrs. Bruce. That runs down the line. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Here you go. You be short, buddy. Well, gentlemen, I thank the St Pancras Rotary for this opportunity. Are there any questions? Yes. Why are you giving these people baths and put coal in them? They'll have a coal bunker. Why put coal in the bath and have to trudge to a communal bathhouse? <laughs> well, 
you say the local authorities should demolish the houses and, and rehome these people. They'll just put the rates up. And that will be by the price of two tickets for the West End Theatre on one night yeah. in the year. You'll never get your rents. They won't pay up. I assure you, they do. I am the estate's manager, commonly called the rent lady. <laughs> them six pence a week and from that my cook's a penny then we collected all that's due except in 19 pound that too i don't believe it from a widow afflicted with serious illness yeah. these people they don't want improvements they'd rather live in squalid conditions i shall let our residents reply <laughs> offered us a large island site in Drummond Crescent. Their asking price was £10,500. However, we now have to take two other big blocks as well. The total comprises 69 houses and 10,000 square feet of open space for £27,500. Let's do it. We must. Yes. Let's go for the big thing. It's a stupendous sum. Indeed. Mr. Hubbard, how might we raise the money? With great difficulty. Credit balance of £5,100. We could do it if we asked our wealthy sympathisers for a loan of £1,000 each. We could do it with strenuous effort. I shall send telegrams tonight to, to Neville Chamberlain and to Lord Cecil. We must write to the Times and the New Statesman, St. Martin's Review, and the St. Pancras Chronicle. Why are we doing this? Because it's worth the risk. If we just gaze at it, we'll get paralysis. We want to make
This site is extensive. Superb vision, Ian. You have drawn these plans with the spirit of a sanctified love. Hear, hear. Six of our wealthy supporters have already offered us loan. Only £3,500 remains to be raised. <laughs> the Times has brought results. A leading article backing letters by Lord Cecil and Mr Chamberlain. Good work. Nothing can stop us now. This is Mr. Hunt from the, the London County Council Planning Department. There are procedures. You should have approached me first. Uh, I have a mind to reclassify this whole area as uh, unsanitary. In that event, any building work you do would be worthless. But on the strength of Mr. Neville's Chamberlain's letters to the Times approving this scheme, uh, we made an appeal. A large sum of money has been raised. So why is his own department opposing us now? I shall do what I can to assist the society. A firm has been engaged. Materials have been bought. We're ready to start building tomorrow. I request assurances that the matter will not be held up indefinitely. It will not take long to resolve. Grubby little man! We must start work at once. If the LCC prove obstructive, we must make the whole thing public. It is fortunate that the Prince of Wales has just visited Somers Town. We must send a deputation to the LCC. We must transform Drummond Street. Why are we doing this?
worthy and Jamie Priestley have in common. Come, come on, that's a lot. <laughs> they all come down to Summer's Town. Today is a tour of inspection by Queen Mary and the Prince of Wales. King George is in excellent health. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, where's Basil Jellico? I haven't seen him. His doctors have told him to rest. Again? Yes, this time for some months. It's the stresses and strains over the Drummond estate. And now ne Neville Chamberlain says go ahead with Drummond Street. Excellent. Ah, Mrs Barclay has a very exciting offer for another development. Sydney Estate, another big undertaking, £25,000. And we're doing it full steam ahead. Good show. What a pity Basil couldn't be with us. Obviously, Father Jellico needs refreshment. As do we. Let us take tea. <laughs> Something pretty with no pennies, dead sons too, but I'm. 